everyone. So I said I would show you how to do this and then when I went live earlier, it didn't work at all. It bothered me so I kept working around with it until I could get it. So I know exactly how to show you now. Go back to the beginning and I'm going to get a heart shape from the library. I'm just going to double click, choose this one. I'm going to select what it opened up for me. Right click and ungroup. I'm going to choose this heart, move it out of the way, select all of these and delete them. Then bring this one back onto my mat. Drag out so that it's large enough. I'm going to go and grab my text. And actually this method is way easier than what I was trying to show you earlier. So I'm typing in the name Sarah. I'm going to select all of those letters. Come over here and choose a script font. Somebody was asking the name of this font earlier. It's Aubrey. You can see it up over here. So now that I have the name here, I'm going to drag it out to make it larger. I need to go in again and fix where it doesn't align properly. So I'm choosing my zoom tool. I'm right clicking and ungrouping the letters so that I can select individually and so that I don't have to move all the rest of my letters. I'm going to take this A and just slide it a little bit so that it lines up properly next to the R. And then I'm going to bring my S over and have it just slightly overlap my A. Again, I was showing you that the reason it's showing this line, this blue line, and not letting me move easily is because of a setting up here in under view, I have enable smart snapping enabled. So I'm turning that off. And then when I move it, it moves more smoothly. I'm going to zoom back out. I'm going to move my heart out of the way so it doesn't select it. I'm going to draw a bounding box around the word. I'm going to weld and once you weld it makes it a composite path. When you see release compound, not composite, compound path, if you right click and choose, if you right click and see release compound path, it means that you do have a compound path. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second, move my heart into place. I need to create that outline. So I am coming over here to do the offset. I need to select my shape to be able to do that. I'm going to choose offset. I'm going to make it a little bit wider than what it is there. Apply. Then I'm going to select everything. Right click and make a compound path. See now if I right click, I only have release compound path. So that means that I have a compound path. So these two are both compound paths now. I'm going to take my word. I'm going to choose this rotate or click the rotate handle. <laughs> click the rotate handle so that the word lines up with my heart. I'm going to do well. I'm going to also click the heart shape by pressing the shift key on my keyboard and clicking my mouse button. I click object, modify, subtract all. What that does now is underneath it has, oops, everything is selected so it's moving everything. If I click away, I can select just the name, move it away, and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of pieces here. Now they're all together because it's a compound path. So I'm going to right click and ungroup. And then I'm going to take my mouse, come over here and choose those pieces, delete them. And then what I can do is bring my name over and I'm just going to stretch it a little bit so that it overlaps the heart piece. Again, I'm going to press shift and click to select everything. I'm going to right click and weld. And now you have it the way you want it. Now this piece of the heart is pushed in a little bit on the letter. 
more than you would want it. So I'm going to undo. That's because I dragged this a little bit too far so you can zoom in to make sure that you don't overlap too far. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to drag it so that it's just overlapping. And I'm going to come over to this area as well. I'm going to click the hand so that I can move this. Click the hand again. And I'm going to fix it at this end as well. Take my text. Make it a little bit smaller so that it's just overlapping the heart. I'm going to zoom back out. Again, press shift and click. Right click and weld. Now I have a better result. And if I show it with color, you'll see that it works out perfectly. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching.